How's it going guys? Today I have the five best low-key duo drop spots on the map for you, hands down. So, without any further ado, let's get right on into the video. Alright, kicking things off is the spot returning from last season's list, and that's gonna be North Collider, North Hoot Lake, whatever you refer to it as. Now, <clears throat> even though this is gonna be the most contested drop on our list, you can make it out of spawn nine times out of ten just by getting best drop for the floating structure. We're gonna have 12 kegs, six chests, the ability to farm max mats, as well as a vantage point over everything going on at Loot Lake and other POIs surrounding, and the ability to third party or engage in the action as you as you see fit with the balloon. Instant rotation. Also, below, you're gonna have two sets of hollow chests, an additional eight kegs, and a bunch more chests if you need it. Now the next drop on our list is actually going to be our most conservative drop on the list and it's just north of Logjam and it's a place that we're going to call Workshop. Now, this bot has 15 chests, it has a bunch of mats, as well as a set of hollow chests. Now you'll also have a zip line that'll take you up the mountain where you have the opportunity to open up a vault as well as you'll have three rifts at your disposal for mobility. Third on our list is yet another spot making its way back on our list from last season called Bahama Split. Now, this spot has 19 chests, 13 kegs, good mats, and that's not even including what's in the vault or the hollow chests. You also have three rifts at your disposal for mobility as well as the foundation statue. Fourth on our list, we have Florida Split making its way back on our list yet again. Now, it's not just because it's a great spot, which maintained all of its loot, as well as its cooler spawns, which got taken away from other spots around the map this season, such as Middle Map, but it actually got buffed this season, and now has a set of Halo chests spawning at the gas station, as well as d launchers set up on top of the volcano, aka Lagoon. Last but not least, in our fifth spot, we have Shark Split making its way back on our list yet again. Now, even though there's no grapplers this season, we still have a good amount of chests here, the ability to get to 200 HP just from Slurp rooms and kegs, as well as geysers, zip lines, and we have a brand new vault nearby. Alright guys, that just about wraps it up. I know there's a lot of spots that made their way back on the list this season from previous seasons, but hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And I still wholeheartedly believe that these are the five best low-key duo drop spots on the map this season. But what do you think? Comment below and let me know. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.